bunnies. Don't don't puncture the bunnies. Uh oh. Or peeps. Peep. What are peeps like? Ducks? They're little chickens. Little <laughs> <laughs> They look like little chickens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got a solo bunny. Yep, he's all alone. For now. Here comes his buddy. There he is. Do you ever mix match him? Yeah, at the end when I can't match him up. <laughs> <laughs> and you already did that over here. So you did the blue and the yellow over here. And now people have been asking about these. Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah. So I know we haven't done them yet this year. Never. I didn't even know if we were going to do them. Yeah, trying to get to them. Yeah. When did you guys ever come up with this idea? Well, years ago. People love marshmallows, so we thought we'd, uh, thought we'd try this. And these are like a different type of marshmallow. I swear. Yeah, you think so? I, it tastes different than a normal marshmallow. Uh, Coop, how do you feel about peeps? No. <laughs> do you feel no? They're too sweet, aren't they? So unnatural. <laughs> unnatural. <laughs> I mean, most candy is very unnatural. Yeah, something's something different though. It's like heightening all the sugar. Yeah, I do think that they're like sweeter than normal marshmallows. And I then think that it would probably pair really well with dark chocolate. Then there's people that love them when they get stale. Oh yeah. That's a thing. Those are a different breed of people. Yeah. How does that make you feel, Coop? I don't even know. I've never had them stale, so I, maybe it's better. <laughs> Were you or Scott saying that you like soggy cereal? That's definitely Scott. The Scott? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tempered the whole kettle. Yeah. Like we did temper the um, enrobers. Mm -hmm. Well, I did the same thing. Just seeding it, basically? Yeah, seeding it. And then, uh, but I was very nervous about doing it because I didn't know if it would really work in the kettle, mm -hmm. but it did. Were you able to do things faster? Yeah, I got uh, all the big bunnies done in like uh, two hours. Mm -hmm. How long would it usually take, do you think, with the old method? At least four. Oh, wow. So you think it's something that you might do going forward? Yeah, when I'm doing uh, bigger bunnies. So it's, it would only work for like big things they go through quickly? Well, the small ones, you can do, I can do a puddle and then just keep adding chocolate to it and then just keep going. Whereas uh, the bigger bunnies, you gotta have a, a lot at a time. Mm -hmm. So that way I can just take it out of here, wait a second on the table and start throwing bunnies. Okay. So the different size things using different amounts of chocolate and different styles of tempering. Yeah, yeah. Yep, exactly. And then do you want to explain why you're scraping it off if you're going to put your hand right back in the chocolate? Yeah, I, I scrape my hand off most of the time so that all the chocolate goes back in. And plus, uh, if you don't, uh, it will could crystallize on your hand because your hand's warm. Mm -hmm. So... So you just want to get like different chocolate on your hand instead of keeping the same exact chocolate on hand the whole time. Yeah, you want to move the chocolate around and you're cooling it. Once it gets cool and stuff, I can do the same thing. I can go faster uh, just by adding a handful each time. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing too when you pick up the chocolate, you're cooling it, like letting the air hit it and stuff. Yeah, it's like when I'm doing this, it's like I'm playing, but really I'm cooling it off. Going through the air, yeah. Yep. And what do you think the temperature's at now? Um, 95. 87, oh. A little off today, I'm huh? really <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, did you notice that some of the, the peeps' eyes were a little droopy today? Yeah, they must have just woke up. <laughs> so some of them you can see or just like normal placement of the eyes. I noticed, especially over here, there seems like quite a few. 
their eye was like on the side of their body. The machine that dropped the eyes must have just been a little off that day. There's some even here like with the blue one, it's a, an eye on the side of the body. So well, now it's ready, it's down to 80, 80 degrees. That's the temperature you need for it's something like this. Yeah, the temperature you can use for uh, filling molds or I'm going to make a puddle of chocolate. If you're you do chocolate covering things? If you, well, if you're doing uh, nut cups or something or barks, you can get away with um, 86, 85. Well, I want to move. The nuts cool it down. Mm. Oh, so the chocolate will be cool. It will be 80 yeah. by the time you use it. Okay. Same with the potato chips. Uh, you can use it at a warmer temperature because potato chips just cool it down quicker. Push it down? Yep. That's it. Did you have to do any multicolored ones? No. I mean, I could, but. <laughs> Are these pretty big sellers? Yeah. They'll all be gone pretty yeah. far. <laughs> do you like them? No. No. <laughs> it's too too sweet. Yeah, that's what I thought you were gonna say. Too, too sweet. sweet for me. I do think that like dark chocolate would pair well with these because I know that that's why we do the chocolate drops in only dark chocolate because yeah. the vanilla cream center is like so sweet as it is, mm -hmm. and it's like a little bit bigger than the normal cream sizes. Yeah, it might be good. You're right. And I know that dark chocolate lovers would agree because there's a lot of dark chocolate lovers on the channel who. Yeah. Really love dark chocolate. And the milk chocolate lovers usually are like, eh, I like dark too. But dark chocolate lovers are like, I only do dark. Yeah. <laughs> Check out from the comments anyway. How do you feel about milk or dark? I like both. Yeah. I'd say about the same. You're gonna have about eight trays of these? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Keep them coming. <laughs> and then now that you have it tempered, are you just gonna be able to basically keep it going? Well, I didn't leave enough on there. <laughs> I used it up. So I'm gonna make this puddle bigger. You just do it in pairs of three because that's how much you can fit in your hand? <laughs> no, just that there's. Three across is good to, to use, that's all. Can you fit more in your hand? Yeah, well, yeah, I can. How much can you do? <laughs> you want to see? Let's see how much you can do. <laughs> it's about it. Wow. It's a lot. Keeps on a puddle. Look at that. So, can you explain to people at home who might be wondering what you're doing with your hand when you're doing the little twist at the end? I'm just stopping it, like pour something and I stop the pour. So you're catching the chocolate with the other side of your hand? Yeah. Okay. In case people were like, what? What's he doing with that wrist? Yeah, that's all. It's all in the wrist, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good at the stop. Well, uh, huh? That's it.
grabbing the beautiful peeps on a puddle. <laughs> and now we have to cut them in half because that's a big bite for one person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so cool. Do you want a smaller one? I don't care. Just take a bite out of it. You like that? You take more, so take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> like All right. You don't like peeps either? Yeah. No, I like peeps. Oh, okay. Okay. Are you guys Cheers. ready? Are you guys ready for the peeps? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Because I feel like mm. okay, so technically I don't like peeps, but I think that they would be better with it's chocolate. Way better with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh my god, can I just like a s'more? Yeah. What? I've actually never tried these. Actually, me either. <laughs> well, I've been, I've been around it for a long time, but, but it literally tastes like it. a s'more. Wait, cut me mm. off another you end. Want yeah, cut me off like a smaller <laughs> end. You can't even really. Now like I'm curious. Pretty good. It's better than I thought. I haven't had a peep in a long time either. Yeah. Like a plain one even. I don't want to hear a peep out here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Doesn't it taste like a s'more? Mm hmm. That's why I have graham cracker, obviously. Mm -hmm. I don't even like, I don't like peeps. Cracker. It is better with chocolate, though. Like, does that make sense? Let me have that. Now I want to try peeps on a s'more. Maybe we should use golden yeah. grains. Peeps on a s'more, yeah. There you go. Golden grains in the chocolate. <gasps> oh my god. I'm gonna Easter bark. Steve. You should crush them up. It would be like a bird's nest. It would be like a duck. Whoa, a like bird's a nest. nest. Genius. That is genius. That's actually really smart. That's a good idea. A bird's nest. Peep in a All nest. Right. S'mores peep in a nest. Somebody write that down. Write, it down. <laughs> write that down. Write that down. Write that down. I like these passed down. Okay. <laughs> Just go buy more peeps. Oh, over here. Okay. And then what? You can't get it. You got it. Uh, got it. Nice. Does it matter what color? No, we can use any color as long as you're cast out. You don't want bright red. That's not Easter. Oh, and there's red in there. But so what we're going to do, why is it, oh, not <laughs> There's more, more. There's more packaging. Amber, do you want to do these and stuff? No, that's okay. Uh, Karen's just running into more uh, plastic. Yes, plastic. I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I have oh my a difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Did you get it? <laughs> so, we're no. going to, you don't have to. It just happened that way. Are they? Oh, two. Wow, these aren't very long, though. They're not very long. They're long. Then you're supposed to put this on there. To tell it's a peep on a puddle. Well, something like this. <laughs> like that. And we don't need all of this. Okay. Wow. Just like that? Yeah. And that's it? Yep. That's <laughs> it. 